Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Nelmar James Gado. Today's video, let's talk about free-falling objects. So free-fall motion, a type of uniform accelerated motion wherein the acceleration is constant. Free-falling bodies move under the action of its own weight or due to the pull of Earth's gravity. The formula is same with uniform accelerated motion but instead of acceleration, A changed to G, or gravitational acceleration. So we have formula for free fall motion. GT, a GT is equal to V sub F minus V sub O. H, or height, is equal to initial velocity times time plus one half GT squared. And... Final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus gravity times time. Example, problem number one. A stone from rest is dropped from the top of a tall building. After three seconds of fall, find okay, displacement of the stone and velocity of the stone. Letter A. So, yung formula is height. Height yung inahanap is equal to V sub O times time plus one half of GT squared. Okay. Then, yung ating V sub O, yung initial natin doon is zero. Times three seconds plus one half. Okay, yung ating gravity G is 9.8 meter per second squared times yung time natin is 3 seconds okay it's 3 seconds squared simplify natin okay well, this is 0 and 1 half times 9.8 meter per second squared times 9 s squared okay so cancel yung unit na s squared natin. So, simplify natin, no? So, yung height natin dyan is 44.1 meters. Okay, next. Yung V naman, yung final velocity. Final velocity is equal to V sub O plus GT. Okay, is equal to initial velocity natin, 0, no? Plus 9.8 meter per second squared times, yung time natin, which is yung 3 seconds. Okay, so cancel yung isang unit na S natin. So may matitirang isa dyan, S na lang. So the final answer is V sub F is equal to... 29.4 meters per second. Problem number two. If a ball is dropped from a height of 56 meters, find the time it hits the ground and velocity when it hits the ground. Okay, problem number two, letter E. So height. Height is equal to V sub O times T plus 1 half GT squared. Okay. So, yung height natin doon is 56 meters is equal to, okay, initial velocity is 0 times time natin. Okay, which is T. Uh, plus 1 half. 9.8 meter per second squared times t squared. Okay, time yung hinahanap. Uh, we have 56, 56 meters is equal to, okay, this is 0 na, no? 4.9 4 meter per second squared t squared. Okay. 
So, lalabas natin dyan is t squared is equal to what? Divide both sides by 4.9 meter per second squared. So, 56 meters over 4.9 meter per second squared. So, mangyayari dun sa unit, mag -re reciprocal yan. Okay, so maka-cancel yung M. So, we have... So, maka-cancel yung meters natin doon. So, we have T squared. Divide nyo yun, no? So, we have 11.428571S squared. Then, square root both sides. Okay, so, we have T is equal to 3.38 seconds. Okay. Next, uh, letter B natin. Final velocity is equal to V sub O plus GT. Okay, so V sub F is equal to what? 0 plus okay, 9.8 meter per second squared times time natin, which is yung 3.38 na nakuha natin kanina. Okay, so V sub F is equal to 33.12 Okay, cancel lang isang unit na S, no? Nagkatira S. So, we have uh, 33.12 meter per second. Problem number three. A baseball is thrown upward with a velocity of 18 meters per second. Find the maximum height before going down and the time to reach that height. Okay, problem number three, letter A. Natin. So, formula is v sub, uh, v sub F squared equals V sub O squared plus 2 times okay, negative G times H. Okay. So, bakit negative G? Okay, kasi against doon sa gravity. No? So, pagpataas, negative. Pagbababa, positive po yung G natin. Okay? Pagpababa yung object. Pagpataas yung object, Kapag against sa gravity, so pa, uh, negative. So, 0 squared. Yung v, uh, final velocity natin is 0. Kasi once na na-reach niya na yung, yung pinaka maximum height, so yun yung final velocity which is 0. Equals, initial velocity natin, 18 meter per second is squared. Plus... 2 times negative 9.8 meter per second squared times yung height natin. Okay? So, this is 0. Okay, so we have 0 is equal to 324 meter squared over S squared minus 19 Point 0.6 meter per second squared h okay so yan so lipat natin lipat natin to dito sa kaliwa positive 19.6 meter per second squared h is equal to 324 m squared over s squared So, divide both sides by 19.6 m over s squared. 19.6 m over s squared. Okay? So, mga, mapapansin nyo doon, mga cancel lang yung unit na s squared. Pareho silang nasa, den na, pareho silang nasa denominator. Then, yung m, matitira. May isang m na matitira dyan. So, yung height natin is what? Yung height natin is 16.53 meters. Okay. Letter B natin. Uh, formula V sub F is equal to V sub O plus GT. So, yung final velocity natin 0 is equal to 18 meter per second plus, again, negative 9.8 po meter per second squared times time. Okay. 
we have 9.8, pas lipat natin to sa ano, kaliwa, 9.8 meter per second squared equal to 18 meter per second. And divide both sides by, what? 9.8 meter per second squared divide by 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay? So, makakansil na to. Then, as a denominator, makakansil yung isang S. Okay? Then, resist, mag, uh, reciprocal po niyan is mapupunta sa taas yung, yung unit na S. Okay? So, we have T. Again, T is equal to 18 meter per seconds over 9.8 uh, meter per second squared. So, makakansil yung M, parehong nasa numerator. Then, parehong nasa denominator S, makakansil. So, may matitirang S. Okay, since nasa denominator siya, ng denominator, yung S natin, nasa denominator na denominator. So, marireciprocal po yan, no? So, T is equal to 1.84. So, unit natin S. Okay? So, yun na. That's it.